Hey everyone, Allie Thompson here, and uh, one of the questions that I had when Facebook made all of its changes was what on earth is going to happen to my reveal tab function. Uh, for a long time I had um, set up pages for other people using FBML. I spent a lot of time learning FBML. I'm not a programmer. Um, so I like simple and FBML was not very simple not for me anyways uh, but once I figured it out I'm like okay I've got it and then Facebook drops the bomb and takes the FBML away from me and I knew that I was gonna have to put together more uh, pages for more clients so I um, I started doing some research and of course I started looking right after the changes were made so uh, not a lot of people had jumped in on on fulfilling this need yet so I went out and looked for it myself. Um, and and when I say I looked for it myself, I, I thought, you know, I'll figure this out for myself. So I did a lot of research and oh my goodness, all the stuff you have to go through. And like I said, I'm not a programmer. And my guess is that a lot of you are not programmers either. Uh, if you are, great. I'm sure you already have this problem fixed, but uh, you know, I needed a fix. So just today I decided to look again and um, the the solution came and it's called reveal tab or my tab uh, there's two different names on it if you go to facebook.com forward slash reveal tab you can uh, go right to the application and this is an application um, with iframes coming in apps is pretty much the only thing that you can do anymore although the FBML I know it was an app before but uh, it didn't feel like an app and um, so I, I found this one I tested it I wasn't too sure but I tested a little bit more and you know what this is a really really good app so um, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use this app to do a reveal tab on your page and just in case you're confused a, re a reveal tab is when you ask somebody to click like and in return you'll give them something so I call it bribing them to like your page so it could be um, find out the number one secret to Facebook advertising click like above well when Facebook made their changes they were automatically defaulting everybody over into the wall you would click like and then it would go to the wall now recently um, I tested it and I I clicked like and it stayed on that same page so I don't know um, if they actually changed their setup I've been trying to find information for Facebook and as many of you know that's not the only, the easiest thing to do but what this application allows you to do is actually have them um, you know promise them a benefit just like uh, they do right here on their page like this page by clicking like below to learn more and uh, they're able to actually put a like button in there I like the like buttons up here I mean I, I'm used to that I'm sure I'm going to use this I'm sure that there's a way that you know one day I'll be like yeah I, I, I would like to be able to use that on my page um, but I, I just want them to click this button up there especially since a lot of my graphics already have people pointing up or arrows pointing up I'm just going to use that so uh, go to facebook.com forward slash reveal tab and you'll see this page here uh, just click right to go to app and it already knows who I am so it says select the page or place or application now I have already gone through and connected my the page that I'm going to show you to uh, to this app but let's uh, find another one that I can show you hold on here um, I run a farmers market here locally and I have their page on here so if you click a page that is not currently uh, the application is not installed on um, you click install the application to this page and I forgot that I did I think I might have gone back and uninstalled it from the other page so I might have to redo this again um, and this says add my tab to Sandusky Farmers Market add this application to Sandusky Market yes so we're gonna click add my tab okay and it takes me to the farmers market website I haven't done a lot with that site so it was still on some old information and okay 
So after you add the tab, you go back to this page. That opens up in a new window, so you just go back to this page. Um, go back down. I'll go back down and click Farmer's Market again. And there you can see you can edit the tab content. So then from this point, I'm going to open up the actual uh, client. See, I do have to do that. I forgot that I had taken that off. Okay, so Yex Auto Repair. That's the uh, that's the page that um, this is one of my clients that I actually want to update and put a new uh, welcome tab on there. Currently, we have FBML as their welcome tab, but uh, I'd like to switch as many of them over, and I'm kind of using these guys to test stuff out. So, all right, so we go back to here. I go back to can't see what I'm doing but I'm just going to the sidebar all my pages that I admin are listed on the sidebar okay this application is correctly installed in your page um, then you want to go to edit tab content alright now if you did FBML before uh, with the reveal tab you'll kind of understand what you need to do here but I'm going to explain it real quick default content means that any new person coming to your page we'll see this information and when we get this all done I'll show you how to actually change your um, default landing tab so that every new person uh, comes onto your your um, your welcome tab uh, so the default content is what you want them to see first alright so I have a little uh, notepad open here and actually the second line is my default content so this application understands basic HTML. Let me paste that in there. Um, it shows you all the tags, etc., that it can read. I haven't entered any anything yet to where it's really disagreed with me that it can't do it, except for background. I tried to do something with a background, and I don't know if it was me, just the way I entered it, but I just quit and tried something else. So backgrounds may be a little bit difficult if you're doing anything with that. Um, so I have the image that I want to have on that page. Then over here, you can see from default content, you go to reveal content. Click that. Now this means this is the content you want them to see when, um, when they actually click like on your page. So I've got, again, I've got my text document here. I'm going to put my reveal content there. If you don't know HTML, this is not the tutorial for we're not going to cover that in that, this tutorial. Um, you know, I, I, I know enough HTML to be dangerous. Um, I'm by no means an expert. I just learn what I need to learn in order to make it all work. Okay, so we're going to save. Click the save button down here. After each turn, you click the save button. Let's make sure we. Okay, and then the other option is tab analytics that you can actually enter in your Google Analytics account. Um, again, I just figured this all out today, so I haven't done that yet, but um, I'm sure it works great. I just haven't tried it yet. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to go to um, Yex Auto Repair. And if we scroll down, you can see this My Tab has popped up right there. Now we want to, uh, we're going to edit this page. Go over here oops, to apps. Go down to my tab, edit settings, and you can give the tab a different name. So we're going to call this welcome to right now, just because I already have a welcome tab up there and I want to be sure not to confuse you guys. And then we're going to save it. Click OK. Now if at any point you need to edit what's on your tab, you can just do that right from your edit page. You can go to app and you'll be able to edit what's on your tab. So that's nice and handy. Then we want to go to manage permissions, default landing tab. We're going to make welcome to. That means all new people will automatically land on this landing tab here. Okay and then we're going to click Save Changes. Now as an admin I already like this page so it wouldn't be too easy to show you what to do there but I did sign in under somebody else's account. This is the old FBML page and you can see the like button is not clicked yet. 
Uh, we're going to give me one second here. I'm going to refresh this page. Oops. Go back. All right. We're still we're still on the regular welcome page. Uh, just because of the way that I came in, but just one second. I'm going to click Welcome To just so that you can see. So you can see here we have a mechanic it's pointing to the Like button. It says click Like above for a special deal available only to our Facebook fans. Uh, when you click Like, I keep getting this because I haven't verified this account yet. Oops, we don't want to do that now. I need the text box. out of there. All right. Just hoping they would give me a clear image. F E C O N. Let's see if that worked. Okay. So then automatically they get taken to this page. Now they're still on the same welcome to tab. Um, they haven't moved off of Facebook. They're still here. And now they can click here to get their special coupon, which we have actually this whole image is hyperlinked, but we make it look like that's the hyperlink there. And we've got the mechanic pointing right to the click to get your special coupon. And that's it. I mean, it's really, really, really that simple. And I'm loving this application. Again, it's called either you could call it my tab or you can, um, if you go to facebook.com forward slash reveal tabs, you'll be able to attach that to your pages and quickly and easily create a two-step process and a reveal tab on your uh, Facebook page and that will greatly increase likes for your page and the more likes you have the more people you communicate with and the more product you can sell product or service you can sell I hope you found that helpful uh, if you go to myfbmarketingcoach.com forward slash reveal tab I have all the links to this tab and um, and all the information that you'll need in order to set it up I'll also have this video sitting there so you'll always have access to it and uh, be sure to leave me some feedback let me know what you think or if you have any more questions on this I'd be happy to answer them thanks